What's good, yo? We back on TTV. What up? Gang, gang. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. Yo, and make sure you guys check out that Patreon, man. Download the app right now. We got early info reactions of shows like One Piece, Clone Wars, Bleach. The list goes on. I know you want to check it out. Man, the link's right down below. Join the family. And make sure you give this video a like and have that notification bell ringing for that Jujitsu Kaisen playlist. And follow us on Spotify, the RTTV show, where we talk about some of your favorite genres of music, such as K-pop, hip-hop, R&B, and much, much more. So make sure you follow and subscribe Spotify, RTTV show. And on the last episode of Jujitsu Kaisen, things got... Crazy nuts, Mother Earth, the spirit of the earth and mm. the forest came through looking like a Groot, fucking homunculus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, attack although the whole jujitsu tech battle between the sister schools, and uh, it looks like Fushigoro, the dude that does a curse talking, and Fushigoro's person he was fighting with, dude that has a closed eyes or whatever opens it like Kenpachi and fuck shit up they're all fighting him right now where's Itadori where's Toto are they Where? gonna join this fight we'll soon find out mm -hmm. you guys ready oh yeah and Abuelo's about to fight Mr. Rockstar oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. let's get right into it episode 19 the black flash Word. Yeah. black power black <coughs> gotta go I am Groot Oh. Oh, oh good shit. Good shit. He actually wow. scraped Damn. Time. He used yeah. his blood as a weapon. Yeah, because last time he didn't even scratch him. Why was wrong with this dude? Was like, yo, if he knows how to override his uh, his speaking uh, curse ability, then we're chalked. He's like, yo, we need reinforcements. Yeah, they're on the run. They're not even trying to attack him right now, yo. At least they recognize the difference of power, though. <laughs> oh, oh, what wait. happened? Oh, no. Oh, oh is that so still, that's, oh. That stop ain't working anymore. Is it, it's affecting him too much. Oh, watch out. Oh. It destroyed his throat. Oh, we're about to see him go. Oh. Damn, I want to see him do yeah, some I shit. Yeah, I assumed that I was going to see some shit. <laughs> oh, he's about to do some shit. And Maki's like, nah. Nah, he might die, Yeah, bro. no bullshit, because it's, it's already fucked up right now. Well, he gonna He's going to say some shit like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the way. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh, damn. That's all I got. It's like, what he's Was it worth it, though? I don't know. Damn. I don't think so, either. Yeah, I think he's about to put a slip. Yeah. Nope. He's right back. It didn't do nothing. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. Damn, I got soup. Reinforcements are here. Oh, oh he actually yo. cut it. That's not a dull blade. Took cut off. it. Took off your antler, nigga. Fire. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. She can really use any weapon. Mm. Oh. I fuck with that. They just need some cursed tools. They be good. Oh, what? Man, that must be a high-grade weapon curse, yo. Nah, I fuck weapon. her. She's strong. Yeah, she's with the smoke, too. Imagine it got flung to where uh, Itadori and Toto's at. That'd be perfect. Cool. Yeah, we haven't seen them. Oh, yeah. damn. That's trash. Oh, what that's cool. Fuck? Oh! oh Digimon! <laughs> Digimon! <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wow. It took part of his arm off. Regenerated quick as hell. Animorph. Oh, oh no. let's go, Fushigoro. <laughs> nah, they lit together, bro. What? They're fucking lit. Oh wait. Oh, both the antlers. Oh, oh! dude, that's my what stomach. What the fuck? When? What the oh. fuck? When did he fuck up? That didn't do shit. That's two on two. Now it's one on one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what wow. the fuck? Damn, that's a good ass attack, right? Yeah. You can't use Kiss Energy no more. 
Ooh. Oh, oh that oh, shit. Wow. One wow. Hit. This whole episode had a lot of old moments. Yo, uh, we need some reinforcements right now, man. Yeah, Fushi Girl, you can't fall right now. Rip that shit out of your stomach. Oh, she who's here? Not. Somebody's here. Let's oh, go! Oh, oh, fuck dropped in like yeah! that. Yeah! Wow. yeah! That's a fucking that, entrance. Yeah, that was a great... He's just going right. to whoop his ass. <laughs> He's going to total, baby. The Ooh, best friends. From. Best friends. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. And that, that was the intro. That was the episode. That was oh. the intro. <laughs> Just the intro. This wow. only the intro, not the outro. That's dope. The, the old dude, the principal, whatever, he's the one that's playing the guitar in the intro. I noticed that the other day, too. <laughs> oh, shh. I got training. I got training. You don't know. And I got Toto with me. Hey, Toto. Oh, and Panda. Oh, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> nah, these niggas about to fuck this shit up, bro. Oh, he's not even gonna help him? Oh, is that a new move? I think he must have taught him some shit. Yeah. You don't know Toto? You're not even seeing it. And Toto's a real nigga. Oh, yeah. I ain't helping, bro. You better land that shit first. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Mahito. Ooh. Oh, he's seeing <laughs> eyes. He said he killed my friend. Oh, he lost all his pupils. Oh, oh. that was in one moment. Catch him with the three piece. What did he miss? He missed. It, right? Yeah, I think he didn't develop the curse that he needed for it, possibly. Cause the thing is, remember that technique he told him that your whole body has to feel it. Oh, oh my god. god! Right now? It's his teacher, bro. Oh, Oof. he was too angry. He was too angry. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is so stupid, bro. That's he's such a great friend, yo. Yo, <laughs> you just keep slapping me in front of this guy, right? <laughs> nah, in a situation like this, y'all can smack me too, though. Nah, he's really trying to make him like, get to his senses. Like, yeah. Snap out of it, bro. Yeah, you can do that. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you so much. Best friend, though. <laughs> this is a life and death situation. You better smack the shit out of me and wake me up, bro. Oh, wow. Nah, he's about to fuck that shit up with Black Flash. <laughs> what? <He's comatose. laughs> that's that's how much he's focused, my nigga. He's drooling. What the, the fu fuck? Oh just my god! Oh! Yeah! Damn. We ready for that wow. black bash? <laughs> <laughs> now Toto jumps in. Yes, sir. That's like the midpoint. <laughs> Now Toto about to jump in. It's two on one. They gonna fuck this shit up. Hell yeah! About to power bomb this nigga. The way they animated that was crazy though. Yeah. Mm, it's like cooking the way you working with this cursed energy. The way he breaks it down too, I fuck with it. Yeah, bro. So he's such a great character, bro. Right? He makes it real simple for you to understand too. Yeah, it's like you put in paprika without knowing that it was paprika the whole time and shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Pat, can we take a picture like that together? Oh yeah, bro. What's underneath? Oh, what in the? It's like a rose on top of the arm. Wow! Oh, wow! Wild. Wow! Wow! Woo! Yes, sir. Oh my <laughs> God! You see him running down yeah. that shit? Yo! I don't care what anybody says. The movements remind me of Naruto versus Pain. They body that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yes, God. sir. Oh, my like, God. Wow, my God. Oh. Let's go. Nah, this shit better than Deku and Bakugo, my nigga. Anything's better than Deku. Ooh. Oh. 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 So you just. I messed up. <laughs> it looks like a straight G. 
Brother. Oh, oh. they thought on oh. their feet. Oh. <laughs> Literally, they thought on their feet. Yo. Literally. They got that goaltending trunks chemistry. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I believe it. It's Mother Earth. Imagine she controls that whole forest they're in. Because technically in my head, like, she has some sort of ability to do so. Okay. Oh, shit, throwing oh, hands. Oh, this shit, oh Toto. Gosh. Toto's lit. I'm not going to hold you. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's the shit that, that uh, they got Goju Sensei last time. She feels that thrill. Yes. Yeah, that's, oh, that's wow. actually very bad. <laughs> oh. No! Oh! Yeah. Nah, I'm not even mad. Yeah, I got so much out of this yeah, episode. It's that's insane. one of those, that's one of those episodes I can't even do that. Yeah. No, I could. I just nah, didn't. I, could. I knew it was gonna end, but it sucks that it ended because how lit that that fight is, bro. Nah, I really didn't think it was about to end right there. I really thought he was about to turn up right then and then. We was gonna see some crazy shit. Like when you get so invested in the episode, you kind of lose track of time because you're just so invested. Nigga, we had a nine minute intro, nigga. I knew that shit was about to end, nigga. I was like, yo, we no, even got like, more. Nigga, that's <laughs> why when you said we're halfway through, I was like, eh. <laughs> no, no, it just, it, you know you how it has like the mid shit. I can't take these shit serious, bro. You know, it's funny. Somebody hit me up and it was like, yo, I'm surprised y'all niggas still watch these shits. <laughs> oh, anatomy. Sure reminds me how I failed this shit twice. Is he so more reconfiguring Goju's skeleton? He's so more. Hangers, like literally making a hanger. Am I tripping? Out of his skeleton, though. That was definitely one of the best uh, Jujutsu Kaisen episodes we've watched. 100%. Um, I love, like, the tag team fights. You know what I'm saying? Or three, the two versus one fights that we've been seeing. Because we've seen him fight with um with his, his sensei. I forget his name right now. Um, Remember okay. how he fought Mahito together? How they jumped Mahito? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, now he's fighting with Toto. So it... It just goes to show you how strong these villains really are. Yeah. And even the explanation on how they um, depict their moves, I feel like it's very similar to what Hunter Hunter used to do. Yes. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But yeah, I feel I like this is that. way more technical, though, because I really feel like I have to rewatch these episodes to really know what the fuck is going on when they break it down. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, speaking of, like, powers and shit like that, I'm not going to hold you. Just that last moment when they was on the beach and um, Mahito was talking to um, Hami, ha Hanami. Hanami, that shit got me nervous for these two niggas. Because the thing is, like, right now, prior to this fight, like, Hanami is more fighting on some, like, protecting Earth type of thing. It wasn't with the thrill of fighting and fully on trying to, like, grasp the full extent of the power that, that she, he or she has and stuff. But after that conversation and actually feeling in a moment of euphoria of like, yo, I, I love this fight. And then, then um, uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? What's Toto? Name? Mahito oh, saying Mahito. like, you're way more powerful. We're about to see the full extent of um, her powers. And I don't even know. Nigga, because technically it's like Mother Earth, you, nigga, she should be able to pick up that whole fight. do anything. I could pick do the anything. world up and you I could jump it on your fucking, fucking head. head. That's how I'm thinking in my head, like with that type of power. So we're going to see. Yo, shout out to the relationship that Toto and Itadori have. Because I didn't see it going here. Like, I thought mm. they was going to be cool, but it's like, he's like his sensei. Like, yeah. in, a lot, in a lot of ways, it's like, when it's time to fight, like, all right, I'm going to just let you know how you messing up. And then yeah, when they start. You got a sensei. Just respect yourself, <laughs> Yeah, but like, yo, he had to take a time yeah, off. Yeah, but. Uh, you know what I'm saying? My boy, my boy Toto right now is teaching him right yeah, now. Yeah, he put a Kakashi, my nigga. He got yeah. somebody else teaching yo, this nigga bro. right now. Shut your room. Shit. Uh, Man. But I, I do feel you on Th that. That shit's mad dope, bro. I I, I like the um fights when there's two people too. But like this one to me is like this one's fire. I can't wait to see how this ends up. Yeah, I can't wait to see Toto like when he turns up. Right when he said he was gonna turn up, and then I was just like, damn, <laughs> y'all gonna do that to me? Is like mm -hmm. anime? Is why do you be like that? Like and even um even when they came into the battlefield that was just like i didn't know i didn't know who was going to come into the battlefield so it was so dope to see them because it was that surprise that made it even more epic and even when they came in the battlefield and when he told itadori usually in animes when uh characters get angry they turn up and they just beat the person's ass yeah. right now we saw itadori turn up throw some blows and then toto stopped him and just be like yo stop you're too mad calm down 
and then try again. Yep. That that's a different that's a different aspect that we usually don't see in animes, and I like that. I do appreciate that too. Yeah, this definitely this episode was definitely up there. Definitely my second favorite episode because you know Goju Sensei. That's my sensei. Um, Mass Expense episode was number one for me. But like the whole episode was nonstop fighting, like from the beginning to the end. That's why I like this was one of the first episodes where the fight was so fire and it, it abruptly ended before you see the next power level. And I wasn't mad because the minute the episode started, we seen the team, not only did we seen fighting, but the, my favorite aspect of um, anime is team fighting. I like when team members fight um, things. And I like how um, they fought the dude at the end because I love in real life live action. One of my favorite fight scenes is in um, Lethal Weapon 4 when Danny Glover and um, Mel Gibson have to fight Jet Li when it's mm-hmm. two versus one. And I think seeing that chemistry they had and how they were moving like kids, it really gave me like Goten and Trunks uh, relationship, but bigger, like adult versions of it. And I think that was fire. And a lot of people, like this show right here, the fighting is it's always up to par and it reminds me of like how bleach is like going crazy right now with the fighting and a lot of people like always come at all oh, i don't know what the, what kind of anime they call it, but like oh, always always fighting like no storylines or whatever is brutally punching kicking that's what people like and i feel like bleach and um jujitsu kaisen it gives me that same vibe where it's taking the element of fighting and putting a great storyline behind it because at the end of the day martial arts and fighting is an art form and I feel like the way they're expressing it, the way they're showing every scene, like when we're going to kick together, we're going to push off. When we're um, fucking up the flowers, the flowers into the body, which gave us um, Yu Hakusho vibes with mm-hmm. Kurama. Kurama's um, power. And I just think it's really like, I feel like I'm watching ballerinas when I see the um, the fights in the show. And I think whoever hates on fighting animes don't really understand that body language plays a major part in it so it is dialogue even when there's no dialogue yeah you mark yeah and it does a little bit of both because i feel like this the fighting here in this anime is definitely top tier uh-huh. but even the story building because even and character development because total's character development who's introduced as the brute force mm-hmm. but like um the way that his even his classmates even other jujitsu sorcerers respected him even the mm-hmm. um the the Hanami the the spirit or whatever um, yeah. the evil spirit she was like um damn I can't move like I usually should because I'm yeah. like, I, I'm con- I'm unconsciously trying to be aware of this motherfucker exactly. who's this mystery man you know why what does saying? he all have all that braveness <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like they built up Toto to have to be like this strong ass dude and have this crazy ass uh, special ability because you can see he has this confidence in him and even like to to smack. Itadori in the middle of a fight with this cursed spirit, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and it's a special grade. It's not even like a like a, a weak spirit. It's a strong ass spirit for him to smack him in the middle of the battle, like teach him a lesson, and then continue to fight. You have to have a certain type of confidence, and I feel like they've been amping up his uh, special ability this whole time since yeah. he's been introduced. Um, so I really, really can't wait to see uh, what that is. No, I agree a thousand percent. Cause yeah, I feel like. A lot of times when cock diesel ass niggas like that pop up in a show or even movies, they don't really have that much like depth to them. They don't really have like the dialogue and all that stuff. And honestly, when he introduced them, I didn't think he was going to be that guy. I thought he was going to be the diesel dude that's OP, but had like a sense of humor, just goofy and shit. But the shit that I've been seeing him do back to back episodes like that smacking in the face. I feel like because he's dealing with a, uh, uh, a special grade. He has to smack the shit out of him. Like, yo, bro, you know what the fuck you doing exactly, right now? Exactly, yeah. It's like, you better stop all that anger shit. I ain't going to work over here, papi. So it's like, <laughs> he got his shit together. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, yo, if I'm in a situation life or death, I'm going against motherfucking Michael J. White, and I'm over there mad, and my punches ain't hitting the same way. I want any of these niggas to smack the shit on me, get my life together so I can, you know, grab that nigga's Adam's apple and rip it out of his neck and shit like that, like the way I could do. Snap. Me? He slapped that anger out of him. Yeah. He was yeah. so angry. So- Oh, you're right. I'm not angry. <laughs> and, and for most niggas, that'll make you even angry. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's all right. You're right. Like, it, was, it was even so the way he slapped him and then the tone in his voice was just like, psh. Mm. So, yeah, it's like he didn't scream on him. Because it was, it was, usually if somebody smacks you in the face and cop down, it's like, yo, chill. He's like, psh. listen, <laughs> no, anger works for you. Anger usually works in our favor but it could work against us at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you have to utilize, you have to learn to find the medium so you can beat this guy. Mm. Snap out of it. We're going to win this fight. 
You it's can like, either make this yeah. song or not make this song. Mm. <laughs> the choice is yeah. And shout out Fushigoro <laughs> too, cause hit, hit the fight that when they started fighting at the beginning, um, I forgot Shorty's name, but that's when we oh, learned about like the Maki, 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 Maki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're part of the same clan actually. Who? Nah, they're definitely not. Nah, there was somebody actually told me that they're like um, the, one of the one of the females are part of the same clan as Fush- Fushigoro. It's either Maki or the other female that fought. No, Fush- the the f- the female that fought Maki, they're part of the same clan. But um, Fujigoro is not part of the same clan. Okay, from what I from what I understood from the anime, yo, y'all got me looking stupid out here. <laughs> that shit, not in front of this nigga. Nah, they teed though. Now we know about like cursed weapons and how like certain weapons have higher cursed energy type thing. So um, I, that's that's a big reason I can't wait for Toto to fight too, cause he has all the answers to give uh, Itadori. So I want to see what you do with your own knowledge when you're gonna fight, like. Let me just show you how it's done, dog. Don't even worry about it. I want to see what he knows and what mm-hmm. special attacks he knows that's going to be able to beat this special grade. Because even when, like, the grade, like, regenerated, the door is like, damn, yo, like, what the fuck were you doing? He's like, nah, they all do that. That's a regular shit, my nigga. That's a regular shit, my and um, we we almost forgot Itadori actually learned a new move. Yeah, that Black could Flash. be his fucking Rasengan right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right there, yeah, cause I feel and I, I didn't really understand what it does, but I feel like um, it's almost like Goju Sensei's with um, that Infinity Time Space shit. I don't know, like it, they kind of explain it that way. I definitely gotta reread it again when I um watch it again, or if you guys want to explain it to me, that would be a lot better. <laughs> cause the way this shit explains shit is kind of it's kind of hard to keep up with the action and the subtitles. Sometimes, but um, yeah, I just got the quick moment of him basically referencing it as like a cooking analogy and stuff like that. It's like it's as if you're using an ingredient but not knowing how the ingredient is actually affecting the cooking. So it's like imagine you was using like salt, but you didn't know how salt was actually like changing the taste of the food. the food. So now it's like now you know how the cursed energy is gonna affect your punches. So now you can use it the most effective the right way. way possible. So yeah, like, but then what is the actual punch doing? That's what that's what yeah. I want. That they explain that part too. Yeah, that's that was, the only thing I caught. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's that, like now it's two times more powerful than a typical punch. Yeah, because even the way he, when he first struck, it was like he said everything goes disappears for an instant and then you can focus on that one area when you punch or whatever mm-hmm. so imagine like an onslaught of punches each door using like that. that attack you know what i'm saying that would be a very strong attack yeah. and he'd probably use it in this fight because total said he said there's never been a person that consecutively could do the black flash so people have been able to do it but he's like consecutively back-to-back hits and shit. so maybe he was hinting that ikidori is gonna be able to do it first. yeah that'd be dope well, I think he was saying like he was trying to differentiate. There's only a certain amount of people because he showed those two, the, the the teacher and then somebody else, and then he showed Goju Sensei and Nanami. Nanami yeah. yeah, so maybe Nanami and Goju Sensei were able to accomplish a Black Flash. That's why they're top That's tier. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the other people weren't. But we'll see, man. I can't wait for the rest of this fight. Um, who you guys got? Do you got? Do you guys think there's gonna be a death in this? In this um series, like very soon, do you think like Toto could sacrifice himself and while Itadori defeats Hanami, or like do you think they'll just fuck him up like Nanami and Itadori fucked up Mahito? Like how how do you guys? Because I feel like it can't be all fun and gravy. I feel like they're gonna give us a death. Yeah, I, I feel like Toto is gonna be the one to die. It's kind of giving me um the third Okage versus Orochimaru when he had to use that power to sacrifice himself in order to win. I think Toto's going to do something along the lines of that, okay. but it might not work within his favor. And then Ichidori is going to have to come up and clean up the rest, and he's going to lose his best friend. And lose control. Yeah. Yeah. Because the thing is, that's that's why, like, earlier I was saying, like, I'm, I'm nervous about Hanami actually getting comfortable with the powers that, you know, it's capable of doing. So, yeah, I think a major death is going to happen, whether it's going to be with Toto or somebody else that's going to be in the area that's going to be collateral damage, we'll see. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some Jujutsu Kaisen pack real soon. Um, It's either going to be, I think it's either going to be Toto or Panda. For some reason, Panda. I feel like I Panda, Panda, like they've showed us enough of Panda that it would matter if, if Panda died. So like maybe it won't be Toto because Toto might mean too much to the story or where it's going. But Panda, I feel like they've given us a lot of Panda throughout the season. And if he died, it still be like a damn, they killed Panda. Sure, Panda's already becoming extinct. Or it might be Inumaki. He might be dead already. Mm-hmm. The cursed speech user. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they think he's 
the uh, homegirl uh, that's on the broomstick. She picked him up though, so he might be all right. He just might not be able to use sorcerer again because if oh. it crushed his throat, it just like yeah, that nigga oh. really screamed on that shit. Maki maki. <laughs> 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 but yo, if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. It's your boy Wells, the Anime King. Stay tuned for the rest of this fight because I think it's going to get even crazier. And we're about to see some real Demon Slayer episode 19 shit. So Ooh. stay tuned. It's your boy Rob City RT. What's good? It's your boy DC. Yo, it's the man, the myth, the maniac, Wilkins underscore RT. Patrick RT, baby. And yo, that settles it at the round table. table.